This is Sunil Sundraj with the Ordo Sports Roundup. Uh, today, I'm happy to be speaking with Gabby DeGro, a senior at Riverdale High School, starting pitcher on the Golden Hawks varsity softball team, and recently committed to Westchester University in Chester County, Pennsylvania. Gabby, uh, thank you so much uh, for the opportunity, and uh, congrats on your success. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Okay, uh, Gabby, I had to ask you, uh, it said right off the bat, uh, just what made uh, Westchester University the perfect fit for you? So Westchester is the perfect school for me, honestly. The coaches are amazing. The players are amazing. And it, when I went to visit there, I kind of just thought, take softball out of it. Do you want to be there without softball? And it's the place I want to be. You know, I love it there too. And it's a, it's a great competition. Yeah, that's fantastic to hear. You know, I was looking online, Gabby, at the, the facilities, the softball uh, complex specifically, and Westchester University softball field, beautiful backdrop, you know, just yeah. amazing, you know, field. I just wanted to ask you, just walking around there and looking at the field, just uh, what was going through your mind? <laughs> I mean, it, it was amazing. They recently just did their field. Like, they had it redone okay. this season, I think was their first season on it. I mean... Okay. Being on the field, it was just absolutely breathtaking, you know, just yeah. having, and it's such like an open area. It's not crowded. Yeah. It's just, it's calm there. And I mean, it's amazing. Yeah, no, it's terrific. Okay. Let's uh, talk about head coach, Diane uh, Loki and assistant coach, uh, Lauren Alterberger. Just talk about uh, uh, communicating, you know, with both them, you know, especially uh, coach uh, Loki and just want to get your, uh, you know, take on that as well, uh, Gabby. So, Coach Loki is an amazing coach. She's been there for a very, very long time and she knows what she's doing. She also mm -hmm. understands how stressful the entire recruiting process is and she understands how players can get stressed out. And I think she just did an amazing job making me feel comfortable and making me like, ha making me like be at home with Westchester. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and no, that's, Long, yeah. Yeah. And then Coach yeah. Altenberger, she's also amazing. She's, it's a, it's a perfect duo, the two of them. That's great. Hey, I want to ask you as well. Uh, also, strength and conditioning is important. The, uh, the, the uh, training centers that they have, wellness center. I wanted to ask you about that as well, Gabby, at Westchester University. So when I went on my unofficial visit, they took me through okay. the entire like athletic facility. They took me through the buildings, and. Mm -hmm. Honestly, it just, it looks amazing in there. And it's just, mm -hmm. it's so nice to have such nice facilities and such yeah. <laughs> nice like tr athletic trainers and everything. I mean, it's, it's amazing. Yeah, that's wonderful. Hey, I was looking at, uh, you know, this team the last couple of years now, uh, this mm -hmm. year they went um, 24 and 22, seven and nine, the Pennsylvania State Athletic Conference. But the year before 2021 this team was a juggernaut i mean they went 34 and 16 20 and 12 in the conference so you're definitely coming into a program that is on the rise here and like you mm -hmm. know is going to be competing you know said not only you know for a winning record but for championships as well here uh, gabby yes i mean they they are one of the top d2 schools in the country you know they go to the ncaa d2 world championships and they're mm -hmm. just they're really competitors and they know what they're doing which is amazing yeah we all know you're a competitor so I, i'm <laughs> sure that it, again you're gonna fit in you know just you know perfectly okay let's uh you had a busy summer uh you didn't take any time out you were playing travel and club ball for uh the Bergen mm -hmm. stars you know in tennessee that must have been exciting you know to to go to another state you know and and uh, play against, I'm sure, some top-notch competition. So mm -hmm. let everyone know out there, uh, Gabby, just how, how that panned out for you. That was one a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. You know, the coaches at Ramsey did an amazing job putting that together. You know, you have a bunch of girls from Bergen County that don't really know each other, and you, put, you bring them to Tennessee, and you have them work with Coach Weekly from the University of Tennessee. And, I mean, mm -hmm. we just we learned so much, and we all created new friendships, which is great. Yeah, that, that's what I was going to say, that you have everybody come from different backgrounds and be able to mesh together and form that bond and that chemistry, because that's not easy to do, you know, especially know. with these travel and club teams. So just talk mm -hmm. about that and just just the overall experience, environment, just playing the games, practices, uh, just life there, because, it, you know, of course, 
so much different than uh, New Jersey. So just, yeah, I had, I had to get that, uh, you know, is it just describe that uh, Gabby? I mean, so the day you usually went in the morning, we had like a two and a half hour camp and then we'd go back to our hotel and relax and do whatever. But when we were supposed to be re relaxing us and the yeah. other girls, we'd go and we'd hang out in each other's <laughs> rooms and we just talk the entire yeah. time. And then later at night we'd have one or two games and then dinner after, which was, I mean, the food in Tennessee is amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> but it was also very, very hot there because it's not yeah. like New Jersey weather at all. But yeah. then at night we'd get back from the hotel and we just, we'd stay up and just talk and have fun. And I mean, some of the girls that I'd never thought I'd be friends with, I mean, they're some of my closest friends now. Oh, that, that that's fantastic to hear that, you know, you form these, you know, just like I said, uh, uh, on the, the Golden Hawks varsity softball team, but here forming lifelong, you know, friendships here and mm -hmm. bonds that, you know, you'll be able to carry. And I'm sure it's, you know, it was just more than talking softball, just, you know, life in general as well, Gabby. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, it was amazing. We, we bonded over so many things, you know, not just softball, just like the things we like, the food we ate, you know, whatever, <laughs> whatever we bonded over. Yeah, that, that's, that's beautiful. Okay, let's, uh, of course, switch to the Golden Hawks uh, varsity softball team. We, we talked about, you know, the season before we came on the air here, uh, 13 and 12, two, four game winning streaks, reached the state playoffs. Uh, you know, I'm sure that you guys, you know, definitely wanted to go further. It was, uh, I'm sure, a frustrating, you know, season also. We talked about that you sustained the injury that, you know, I said knocked you out of commission for a little bit. But still, you flourished. You were named to the Big North Conference Patriot Division First Team All League, along with teammate Bella Molina, Second Team All County. So when you reflect back on, you know, this season, what what just, you know, I, I'm sure there's just a lot to, you know, really, you know, sink your teeth into and say, look, you know, and to be proud of, you know, the, the fact that you put in all that hard work and it really paid off for you, Gabby. Yeah. I mean, this season, it was our first real, real season since COVID and my first yeah. real high school season. And I came, I came into it not knowing how it was going to go, not knowing if I was going to, you know, be the starting pitcher, not knowing anything. But I mean, mm -hmm. as time went on, we all we all bonded. We all did yeah. amazing <laughs> things. And I mean, it was just it was a great it was a great time. A very special senior class. You know, oh, just yeah. talk about this. I mean, Napoleonia Cartelli, Sophia Fernino, Taylor Troncoso, Melina Leopold, Lizzie Crowdhawn. I mean, that that senior class is right. one that will go down as one of the best, you know, to, you know, play uh, for uh, the Golden Hawks Force you softball team. Uh, just talk about what it meant to you personally just to, you know, play alongside those seniors. So being able to play with them was an amazing experience we all grew up we all kind of grew up together so we all knew who we, each other were but I mean this season we all got really really close and Apple and Sophia they did an amazing job as captains you know mm -hmm. keeping us focused in the games making sure we had fun and I mean everybody on, on everybody in that class was just they were so nice and easygoing to talk yeah. to and I mean it was it was it was fun yeah you put out phenomenal stats. I mean, it, it, there's no getting around what you did this year, what you accomplished. I'm wondering, like, on the mound here, 92 strikeouts, and then at the plate, just, I mean, just jaw-dropping, you know, staggering numbers here, you know, in terms of your average, batting average, slugging percentage, home runs, RBIs. I mean, the fact that you were really able to put it together and become that complete player, I just let's start first as a starting pitcher and in terms of, again, you know, be able to work with your catcher, Bella Molina, head coach, Brian Calabrese, but just the fact that uh, those numbers and just, you know, you dominated on the mound. Uh, what, mm -hmm. what just walk me through the process, just in terms of being a starting pitcher, you know, before a game, during the game and the fact that you were locked in, you were in the zone, you know, this season, uh, Gabby. Yeah. So, I mean, being a pitcher is basically all about having confidence. And mm -hmm. during my sophomore season, I didn't have the confidence I do now. I mean, now it's, I'm basically like, I have to be able to carry myself a certain way and I have to be able to carry the team so that if I'm, if my shoulders are down, not everybody else is upset. You know, I have to be able yeah. to be happy at all times. I have to be able to focus on one thing at a time. And I mean, Bella and coach Calabrese, they, they really understood me in the season. They understood yeah. 
what kind of pitches I wanted to throw, what I wanted to throw. I mean, they understood when I needed a break. I mean, it was just amazing. Yeah, I, I think there's so much that goes into it when you're, you know, on the mound, you know, in terms of yeah. communication and just try to figure out what pitches are going to work and your selection, uh, you know, talk about because everybody thinks about I mean, the physical part of a game, but it's so mental as well. And I, I know Bella brought that up as well. Uh, just talk about that, because really you have to be, you know, in tune, you know, and sharp, you know, especially you know, for seven innings, you know, it, it's, it's quite a bit, it's very taxing, but just talk about how you were able to, you know, really I said stay focused, you know, uh, during the course of the season, uh, Gabby. Yeah. So, I mean, softball, if it's all of it is mental, you know, it's, yeah. if you, any, any aspect of it is mental, but yeah. usually, honestly, when I'm on the mound or I'm doing something, I'm not thinking about pitching. I'm thinking about what pitch I'm going to throw, but while I'm in my pitch, I'm either singing a song in my head or doing a math problem. <laughs> <Okay>. Honestly, <laughs> I mean, I find that I find that the best way to like clear my head because yeah. then I'm not focusing on my mechanics as much. I'm having That's fun right. out there, you know. And towards the end of the season, I mean, I started getting a little tired, but Mr. Coach Calabrese, <laughs> Coach Calabrese, <laughs> did his job making yeah. sure that I was rested before big games. You know, he did. Whenever I needed a break, he let grace or Aaron Brady pitch and he just mm -hmm. he did an amazing job understanding what I needed because yeah. I mean mental the mental part of softball is extremely extremely important yeah no I definitely okay on the flip side talk about <clears throat> I mean these numbers at the plate and just again I mean uh, being able to perform at the highest level the fact that you know you were able to I mean to pull out here, I mean, just in terms of uh, the numbers here with the home runs and RBIs and uh, just being able to spray the uh, ball all over the field. Talk about just how that, you know, worked out for you and just in terms of preparing for the season. And again, just seeing every week your progression, you know, rising, you know, further and further here, uh, Gabby. Mm -hmm. So what I what I always like to do is I like to set personal goals for myself. And little goals, right? So but let's say there's a runner on third base. I want to be able to drive that runner in. So I try to hit the ball to right field. You know, mm -hmm. it's just, it's little things, right? I have to focus yep. on a little, on one certain pitch that I want to hit in that at bat, right? Mm -hmm. And I mean, that really just helped me excel at the plate this year. You know, having, being focused yeah. and really working at, at my goals. Yeah, I, I'm sure like just eyeing the situation at hand as you said, with runners on base and just trying to figure out, you know, what is going to, you know, work, you know, work out best for you. Uh, we talked about, I mean, even last year, team went 15 and nine. And this year, I mean, we talked about Grace Basil, 23 RBIs, Bella Molina, he needed near 350. Yeah, Casey Ziegler, you know, freshman come in, hit, you know, 375. So there's so much talent that's returning. We talked about, you know, for next year, I mean, uh, Grace uh, Basil, Sam Campos, Aaron Brady, yourself, Casey, Elena Marcus, Isabella Worthington, and Isabella Hernandez. And you throw into that mix, you know, incoming freshmen as well. So, I mean, you know, we, we talked about before, this team is really built for, you know, I said next season. How exciting is it, you know, to be a part of that? Oh, it's so exciting. And being a captain of it meet with Bella, I mean, it's yeah. it's very exciting for the two of us. And we know that we know that we have incoming freshmen that are going to be very, very good and a bit they're gonna have a big impact on the team. But mm -hmm. we're really just focused on making sure we all bond together because having yeah. a bond on and off the field is one of the most important things for a softball team. Yeah, no doubt about it. I agree one hundred percent with that. You talk about the the beginning of the season, uh, Gabby, the renaming of Brenda Canal Field. That was a just a memorable moment for you, the rest of the players, seeing, you know, past players, you know, in attendance, coaches. I mean, just uh, so many, pe you know, people from the community. Uh, just just describe that, you know, the the first game of the season uh, there at uh, Riverdale High School. That, I mean, that game was amazing. It was, it was memorable. It yeah. was, I mean, being able to be a part of that and being able to be handed the ball to, to start that game. It was just such yeah. a great experience. And to be able to honor uh, Coach Canal is, I mean, she's done so much yeah. for girls sports over the years. And I mean, it was just, it was, it was an honor. And I went in there, I was, I was a little nervous, but I knew that, yeah. I knew that <laughs> I had it. I knew that I had it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, that's great. Uh, 
Hey, I, let, let's talk about uh, head coach Brian Calabrese, assistant coaches Cindy Tolte, Richard Ponte, but really uh, head coach Brian Calabrese. What what has he meant to you uh, these last couple of years in terms of your your uh, development, just the way you've been able to, again, uh, excel? Mm-hmm. So my freshman year was also his first year as head coach. Okay. And I mean, I think that already just helped us with the bond that we have now. I mean, he yeah. has done so much for me. You know, he's he's helped me with anything I ask him for. You know, he's he's a, he's an amazing, amazing coach. And I'm, I'm very happy that he's that he's been there with us. Yeah, I, I just I, I think I <clears throat> respect coach. I mean, he just brings that work ethic, that determination, that passion every time he coaches. And I, I know you do the same. So I, I'm sure that that really works, you know, mm-hmm. works out very well in terms of, you know, every time, you know, you take the mound and you're up at the plate. Okay. Putting that number 20, I said, uh, Riverdale, uh, Jersey on that golden Hawks Jersey on what, what is that, uh, represent to you personally, Gabby? I mean, being able to be the number 20 is amazing. 20 has always been my number. So, okay. I mean, <laughs> being able to wear it, especially in, in my high yeah. school, you know, where I grew up, I mean, it's just, it's amazing, you know, and having the opportunity to bring the number 20 with me to the mound, to the plate, and, you know, all, yeah. just on the field. It's, I mean, it's a great experience. Incredible facilities also at Rivertel High School in terms of the athletic, you know, complex, everything being, you know, so close to each other. Uh, I'm wondering, you know, home games are special because, you know, you have, uh, players from other teams, you know, coming over, supporting you guys. Uh, talk about the home games and even the away games, you know, I said, uh, I'm sure that's where you really form those tight knit, you know, uh, friendships uh, mm-hmm. with your teammates. Uh, just talk about that, you know, just, you know, both environments. So being at home, it's amazing, you know, because at the same time you have lacrosse games going on, baseball games mm-hmm. going on, you know, there's so much yeah. going on and, everybody's kind of just watching everybody you hear everyone cheering and I mean it's just it's nice to have people there supporting you and away games the bus rides to away games are (laughs) the best are the best parts of softball you know we all listen to music we did snack bags this year which was very fun um (laughs) and you know we just we bonded and we laugh and even even if the game didn't go our way we'd shake it off and we'd worry on the next one which was great yeah, no, that's terrific. Um, hey, an outstanding administration athletic department here at Riverdale High School, top notch, one of the best, not only in Bergen County, North Jersey, but maybe in the state of New Jersey. Uh, talk about, you know, athletic director Dennis Nelson, principal Brian Pepe, superintendent, you know, Patrick Fletcher. Just, you know, again, from top to bottom, it just it 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 just works like a well-oiled machine. Just just talk about how how much that it, you know, in terms of the support system for uh, the varsity softball team? I mean, the support we have is unmatched. You know, everybody, mm-hmm. everybody supports us. Everybody, it's it's just amazing. And uh, Mr. Nelson, he does a, a great job making sure that we have enough games, you know, that we have buses and he's just, he's great. And um, Mr. Yeah. Pepe, he comes to so many of our games and he's always cheering yeah. us on. And even in the hallways, he'll stop us and he'll ask, you know, when's our next game or how did your game go? And it's great. And uh, Mr. Fletcher, he's, he's great as well. That's, yeah, that, that's tremendous. Okay. Um, as we know, it's just not being, you know, an athlete's being a student athlete, Gabby. So it's a lot, you know, in terms, you know, between the practices, games, you know, I, I had to ask you in terms of just how you've been able to balance it out here these first three years and now heading into your senior year, already into it a couple of days, but just, I mean, what does it take, you know, for you? I mean, just a really like, you know, it's again, not easy to strike that balance, but, you know, in terms of time management and organization, but what, how you've been able to, you know, figure it out and, you know, mm-hmm. effectively. Yeah. So I usually set two hours aside every day for homework, for anything like, you know, that I, that I need to do, you know, time management Mm -hmm. is the most important thing as being a student athlete and being able to get your work done and not procrastinate. It's, it's such a big deal because you, if you fall behind in your work, you might not be able to play softball, you know, you might not be able to compete in the next game. So being a student athlete, it's a lot, it's a lot of pressure, but Yep. time management and not procrastinating it is the most important thing yeah okay i you know one uh 
question popped into my head and I didn't want to forget this is that, you know, and I've asked every athlete at Riverdale High School about this interesting dynamic of uh, two towns, you know, kids from Oradell and River Edge merging into one school. So had to ask you, Gabby, is it Oradell or River Edge? River Edge. River Edge. So talk about that, you know, the fact that here you have, you know, the kids from both towns, you know, through, you know, elementary into middle school, eventually ending up at the high school, uh, Riverdale High School in Oradell. Just talk about how you guys, I mean, both towns, both kids, I mean, all the kids have been able to come together as one and just, you see how tight knit, how everybody supports each other. Just talk about that. Mm -hmm. So growing up, it was always the rivalry between Ordell and River Edge. You know, it was yeah. a, it was great. I mean, you'd always want to be able to play each other in in big games yeah. or important games. But yeah. going into middle school, we all kind of knew who each other were. We knew of each other because of sports. But being able mm -hmm. to create friendships with them, even though we had our rivalries, yeah, <laughs> being able to create friendships with them was one of the best things. And you know, some of my closest friends are from Ordell, and I've met them through sports. So yeah. I mean. Having the rivalries, I think it helps us, you know, become better friends. Yeah, no, I agree. That's fabulous. Hey, going back to uh, softball for you know, you're playing for a long time, and you know, we've seen this pipeline. You know, said starting out early with the rec leagues, uh, going into like club travel ball, and then eventually ending up uh, at the high school level. Talk about, you know, what is it about the game of softball for you? that makes it special to play I mean, year after year for you? Mm -hmm. I think honestly, it's the bond that it helped me create with my dad. I mean, that is the core of our relationship. You know, we always talk mm -hmm. about softball, you know, he got me into it when I was growing up, even when I was playing t-ball, you know, he <laughs> made me fall in love with the game and I'm so grateful yeah. that I have him. That's great. That was going to be my next, you know, question is family. You know, you talked about your dad. I had to ask you about your mom, if you have any siblings and just what uh, they've meant to you here during your academic and athletic journey, you know, especially at Riverdale High School, uh, uh, Gabby. Yeah, my family, I have, I have a younger brother and I live with my okay. mom and dad. Um, okay. My family is, they are my number one fan, you know, they don't care no. how bad I do in a game. They, they're always there to support me no matter how far away I go, you know. They've come with me to Colorado, Florida, Tennessee. You know, they've they've traveled all over the country for me. And I mean, yeah. it's great to have such an amazing support system in them. Yeah, that, that's uh, <clears throat> that's it doesn't get any better than that. Um, hey, Gabby, uh, before you get the final word, I, I again, I, I think, you know, really you are in just a uh, incredible spot here to offer advice and a message for the younger kids and athletes, especially girls out there. You know, in terms of we talk about women in sports, you know, that uh, mm -hmm. we want it's, it's tough to navigate these waters. You, you know, mm -hmm. there's so many challenges out there, so many mm -hmm. pressures, social media, trying to fit in with your peers. But what would you say uh, to the younger kids out there who are trying to find their pathway in sports and especially maybe succeed definitely when it comes to the, the game of softball? Don't let anybody don't let anybody tell you you can't do anything. You know, some people, they don't understand like what it's like playing softball. They don't understand what it's like playing sports, but don't let anyone tell you that you're not good enough to do anything because you are. If you put the work in, you will be good enough no matter what. Well said. Okay, Gabby, get the final word and message here. Family, friends, uh, teammates, coaches, uh, definitely at Riverdale High School, the student body, uh, administration, athletic departments, towns of Wardell, River Edge. Uh, and your new home uh, come next year, you know, at Westchester uh, University and the softball team there as well. I mean, I just want to say thank you to everybody. I mean, having a support system, having somewhere to go next year, you know, it's all, it all just feels like home. And I'm, I'm extremely happy, extremely happy. Hey, Gabby, just an incredible honor and privilege being able to, you know, speak with you. Uh, congratulations again on your thank success. You. Uh, you know, on the Riverdale Golden Hawks varsity softball team and especially with club and travel ball. And you still have a year left. You're not done. You're coming, you know, I said 2023 season will be here before you know it. And, uh, you know, wishing you all the best uh, as well at Westchester uh, University. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.